Hello YouTube, I'm Xeon, you're in Galactic View. Today's video will be of the most trickiest part of all Varoid, the Hate Editor, Part 1. So far, we've been through Face Editor, Body Editor, Clothing Editor. These were the simples, that would be in quote. The super complex part is the Haired Editor due to more work to be done with every single strand of hair, and it depends on the hairstyle you select. Now, let's start with Hair Editor. Once you click on the Hair Editor tab you'll see three tabs right beneath it. The first one will be design, next one is bone tab, and the last is texture. If you've been following these tutorial videos, you'll know by now that there's barely any changes, except for a few new tabs. When you select the mouse pointer icon, nothing happens. That's because you're gonna have to go to the base hair, which is beneath the hair groups tab on the left side. If you press the add procedure tab right below the hair groups tab, you'll immediately notice a pre-selected hair sample that's being given to your character. Then, you'll see a new tab below the base hair tab that says procedural group 1. This is the new pre-selected group hair that's been made. Also you'll see multiple green circles surrounding the character's head. The closer look reveals that these green dots sometimes go to the length of the hair, in this case is on the pre-selected hair. Since it's a pre-selected hair, it only gives hair in a specific area at a specific length. These green dots are scattered around the character in four areas. Front, back, left and right. If you want to see it in a different way at the top of the head, it can also be seen like a compass, except it won't point north, but it will give you four specific areas. Let's return to the base hair, the hair group will be further explained in another tutorial. Go to the add freehand group and select it, it will give you similar properties to the base hair and the procedural hair group, but the only difference is that you don't have any pre-selected hair. You'll have to draw the hair yourself, let's begin, remember the mirror button. Then head to one of the green circles, click and drag them to your chosen area and angle. When you start drawing the hair this will be affected, and sometimes it will make the character look unnatural. Notice the lines that go along the green dots, these are the pair, to say, where you're gonna draw the hair. It will be shown beneath the hair as you draw it. When we begin drawing, you'll see where the hair will begin. For tablet and touchscreen computers, this would be an issue as sometimes it has a tendency to start below the original starting point you choose. In the area where the grey lines disappear, it means it's inside the character, meaning if you draw hair, this will happen. If that happens then it's just a matter of adjusting the hair base dimensions, but by doing that you probably would have to erase the hair, if it's a group. When it's only one, then there's another tool that can easily be solved, it will be shown on the next video. Now, I will begin on making hair for this character. First, start with the base hair for the shape of the hairstyle. The shape can be given to a certain length, although it hasn't been checked to the furthest length it can go. The base for the hair can be shaped, but only if there isn't any hair on it. One thing to check if you're making a different shape for the hair is to go to the side view. Things may look good from one side, but when you head to the other one it's a mess. If you have the mirror button on then deselect it, as in don't activate it. It will make things worse. At that moment you are gonna have to move the half section to prevent further complications.
Now on the right side, when you start to paint, there's a few tabs open. One of them is called texture parameters, and the other one is called hair parameters. It's beneath the hairbrush, where the current hair is displayed. In hair texture you can control the highlight, width and the offset. The highlight means the same thing as a highliner, you can select the area of the hair that can be highlighted. The width is basically. On hair parameters, here there's the opinion of the hair width, hair thickness, twist, for the curly hair, which is two tabs for this, and the smoothness for the hair. All of this can be set into numbers, but it best to stay with the bars, too much into the numbers, and things will look weird. To draw the hair, in computers, simply click and drag to the desired length, while having the mouse clicked. For tablets and phones, it will be as like a normal touch screen for drawing. You can see how the hair base dimensions are affecting the shape and design of the hair. On the right side, you'll see on the freehand groups and hairs being made. This is normal for the part of the hair drawing process. If you have the mirror button selected, it will be much faster. I will show you the effects of the hair base being modified after you've already made your hairstyle. This can either help you or make things more difficult. I'll be resuming the hair editing.
When you're done with one layer of hair, you can add another freehand group so it won't interfere with each other. When adding a second layer with hair, the same thing will apply for the new one. As in if you modified the hair base while you have some hair in it, it will be affected as well. That's all for this tutorial, in the next video. We're gonna work with simple hair design editing, hair paint and hair texture editing. Remember to like and subscribe, it will please me.